So, I'm back again, but for a different reason. Loads of us, well, yeah, loads of us saw this coming, but uh, I, I still kind of had thought and belief that, that it wouldn't, but uh, yeah, s sad news for some Spurs fans. Carl Walker has decided to join Man City for a fee in excess of £50 million. Now, I mean, £50 million is huge, and you would have thought I'd have a gleaming smile on my face. Oh, I mean, I've had a rant on Twitter. You can go check that out right here. Cheeky plug. It, I don't know, it just it seems not enough. Like, that sounds so selfish, because, like, yes, £50 million is a world record fee for right back, but I'm looking at this in a completely different way. First of all, Man City, the team that he's going to, they paid 50 million for Stones, another defender who was a huge flop. Just by that alone, you would have thought Walker was worth more because he was one of the best defenders in the league last year. Now, not only is that the case, but we are selling him to a rival. We are sending him to another challenger. If we, kept, if we keep our performances up for, for like the past two seasons, and we are challenging for the title, or even just for a Champions League spot, we are going to be battling Man City. We are sending him to a rival to improve their defence, which is probably the only reason they didn't win the league this year, was because they had a very poor defence. So we are effectively weakening our side and strengthening there so that they can win the league next season after they've already made some incredible signings. To me, that already adds more to his price tag. Dani Alves has gone to PSG. They are out of options for right backs and we're only setting our target for 50 million. I genuinely think we could have got 60, 65 million for him. Genuinely, it's Man City, they're paying a lot. Lukaku, I know is a completely different player and whatever, like, I know, right? But he's gone for 75 million, they were like, RB Leipzig right back is thought to have been going for 75 million to Liverpool, yet we are only settling for 50. It just doesn't make sense to me, which is why I was ranting. Like, fair enough, he, he kind of wanted to leave and then like kind of fell out with Poch. I, I can understand that. As sad as I don't want to see him go, I can understand that. But to only go for 50 million seems very, very short. Or like, what would I would have been happy with is 50 million plus Ian Acho. But I've heard that he's gone in medical in Austria to go to Leicester City which I think is a bit of a waste for him because I think he's a great talent, but he's just not going to get ahead of Aguero and Jesus, or Jesus, however you pronounce it. I don't know and I don't care. I'm just a little bit upset that it, it's just it's more to it than the price tag. Yes, 50 million is great. That's fantastic. We have to give 5 million to Sheffield United or something like that for a transfer. I think Pereira is probably the best replacement we can get to him. His release clause is 22 million, which considering Carl Walker's gone for 50, that is peanuts to anyone now. I think we can trigger that and he wants to go to the Premier League. Definitely, I think Trippier will definitely start every game from now on, considering his performance at the end of last season. But I don't know, it's just upsetting because what to me, the pair was Rose and Walker. Like that was just a world-class fullback maneuver, especially with three at the back. It just worked so well. And Trippier is amazing, but Walker was so much faster and with the three at the back system, it worked so much better with Rose and Walker. When he swapped it around for like Davis and Trippier, it didn't work. Rose and Trippier hasn't really, like, they haven't tried that enough, so we don't know, but it's just not going to be the same. The speed is what we needed, which I think Pereira's. That's another great reason to sign him, because he is a rapid right back. Yes, it's great money, but you don't want to see that from a club that's trying to strive for title challenge and doing well in the Champions League. You don't go and like sell your best right back to your rivals. And now we're going to have to go buy effectively a second rate right back so that Trippier can start for us. And I don't know, it just doesn't really make sense in my head. It's a lot of money, but it's more about the mentality of the club doesn't seem right. So the only positive I can see from this is that we need to get that 50 million and spend it wisely for once. I don't want us to buy 10 average players to try and like boost the team. We need one really, really, really quality player, then like two more. Maybe like two more kind of average backup players like Ross Barkley, you know, I don't even care. Some backup players that would be good, Max Meyer ideally. But we need that one big signing. Danny Rose said himself, Spurs want that marquee signing. I'm a bit upset because Walker's been at the club for so long and I love him, but uh, that's just how things go. We can't keep everyone. I would love to have kept Berbatov, but no way where we could have stopped him from going Man United. We seem to be struggling to attract the big players at Spurs, despite now getting Champions League football, uh, considering that Arsenal now have Europa League, but because our wages are so low, we're not attracting the big players and they still are. I don't want to complain too much because I really do have faith in Poch and he is going to be bringing more youth players through. I know that for a fact, which is why I know we're not going to sign a lot of players, but we need that at least that one big name. That one big name 
And now that we've got the 15 million odd or whatever from Walker, I think we really need to use that wisely and get that big name. So yeah, that's been me with the Spurs news. It's the first big player that we've gotten rid of. And I'm just interested to see what we then do with the money. Catch my hashtag Tottenham Target series. The links will be in the description below to see which potential players can come to Spurs with now the money that we have from the Walker deal. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bam! With someone you are free.